Right, so I boost die again. This is a bit of a weird one. This is um, apparently it just sort of displays the programming message, and then that's about it. Oh, that's a new one. Can't say I've seen that issue before. New day, new problem. Um, what in the hell's going on here? <laughs> Where's the fan connector? Oh, it's been opened. Oh, wonderful. Now, this is interesting. <clears throat> you see this, look. This is the same fault as the other one that we had in. This is a new fault all of a sudden where it's frying the 10 ohm resistor. How strange. Yeah, it's another one of these stupid ones where they've cobbled this into them afterwards. Ace. So, after seeing this, I'm hypothesizing before I've actually done any, any checking that that is short. And the reason it's turning on and off is because the new version of this has some kind of short circuit protection in it. So basically when it goes bad, instead of it just blowing the hell out of everything, it just turns on and off. And that's probably why it's turning on and off. And that resistor looks like it's gone again. How weird. All right, we've got the multimeter out, do some tests. Right, looks like the hypothesis was correct because that, is short. What does our fried little friend here read now? It's supposed to be 10 ohms. It's now uh, 8 mega ohms. <laughs> right, MOSFET replaced. And then that resistor replaced. So let's see if it works now. Right, let's see what it does now. Sounds a bit healthier. Yeah, that's good to me. Well, hey, what's better than having a brand new tube of heat sink compound? Not realising you have a brand new tube of heat sink compound. Butte. So I'd order one in, but I didn't realise I had one. There we go, we're on, so it's going to get back to... Here we go, we're on, and we are working. Another one done, job done.